What's going on guys? So before we get into some of the new images and footage that Toyota has provided media outlets on the new Tundra and some of the improvements that they've made, let's take a closer look at what you've already seen if you followed the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Well, they released several images and the truck definitely has an all new bold aggressive style, which is kind of, you know, in the same lineup as you would see with many of their SUVs and other vehicles that are already released. More of that edgier Toyota style that again, you're starting to see in other SUVs and vehicles that Toyota produces. But this video is going to be to go over some of the things that we already know about the truck as well as some things that we have yet to see until now. So Toyota has been sprinkling media outlets with different images from the interior to the seat covers to the interior dash layout as well as the actual navigation screen from a top perspective. So you definitely know you're going to be getting a lot of technology with this new truck, including things like 360 degree cameras and wireless charging and all of that stuff. We also know that the truck is going to be equipped with all of the off-road features that you've come to expect, such as crawl mode, hill descent mode, and a lot of the things that, again, when you're buying a Toyota Tundra, especially in a TRD Pro package, you would just expect Toyota to include with that off-road ready package. All right, so let's take a look at the new teaser images and videos that Toyota has released on the 2022 Tundra TRD Pro. First of all, they released a clip of the well-protected underguard front skid plate, as well as the Fox coilover front suspension, and also a clip of the rear suspension of this truck so you can kind of see what those changes look like. Okay, so I'm gonna enhance the image so you can see things a little bit clearer and a little brighter. And right off the bat, you'll notice that the rear suspension is coil sprung, which is a big departure from the traditional leaf sprung suspension that you've come to know on Toyota pickup trucks. Also, if you look right above it and to the right, you'll see what appears to be a fully boxed frame. So that is a huge departure from the engineered triple tech frame design that Toyota bragged about so much in their current and previous models of the Toyota Tundra. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this new truck handles and drives compared to the previous outgoing Tundra with a completely redesigned frame and suspension setup. At first glance, it would appear that the rear differential housing is the same, but when you take a closer look at the new truck, you'll see that it looks as if it's tapered off towards the top and has a different overall design. Plus, the actual axle housing looks to be completely redesigned, so it's going to be interesting to see what improvements Toyota has made to this latest version of the Tundra. So now let's take a look at the front suspension, which is clearly an independent suspension with Fox coil over shocks and springs. You can see a really large front sway bar, which again, I think is pretty indicative of a TRD Pro truck. But yeah, it's a very clean setup up front and I'm definitely interested in seeing what the dynamics are with a new fully boxed frame and this suspension setup. And in regards to the exterior and some of the updates that were done, it's gonna have all LED lighting. It has an integrated light bar at the front plus some LED fog light, so that's really nice looking. Plus it's gonna have some really nice fender skirting with a cool graphic design, a rear bumper step option, as well as a panoramic sunroof on the Tundra, which is gonna be the first for the Toyota Tundra. And you're still gonna have that ability to lower the back window, which is exclusive to the Tundra, which is really, really cool. And it's good that they're retaining that feature. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video of some of these teasers and these little updates that Toyota has provided on the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Definitely interested in learning a little bit more about this truck and especially experiencing it for myself to see what I think about it. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.